Tonight, ABC Action News is taking action for local students, giving away thousands of books for National Reading Day. Reporter Adam Weiner was there this morning as anchors Lindsay Logue and Jamison Euler helped a local nonprofit grow their very own book garden. Give me five! Woohoo! The first thing you notice at the Early Learning Coalition in Hillsborough County is kids have lots of love to give. Oh, I get a hug. How nice! We also learned kids love books. I want to read it. Every day. But not every kid has easy access to books, which is why ABC Action News employees took action. And then that, and then that little girl right there. Lindsay Logan, Jamison Euler's kids helping to deliver bags of books to some local preschoolers. And then these expert readers. A big horse, a fast horse. Each read them a story. But they didn't get it quite right. Does that look like a strong horse? No. No. With a matching donation from the Scripps Howard Foundation, ABC Action News raised $8,400 to buy 3,400 books. Would anyone else like a donut? <laughs> Me too. All of it going to the Early Learning Coalition's new book garden, where kids get a free book while their parent signs them up for pre-K programs and financial assistance. There are tons of resources, so the folks that assist the parents that come in are trained to identify other needs and issues. The donation is now an annual event for ABC Action News as part of the Scripps Howard Foundation's literacy campaign, If You Give a Child a Book. Parents read to their children, they say uh, at least a thousand words uh, by the age of five and children will become more successful in the future. Thank you, ABC Action News. In Hillsborough County, Adam Weiner, ABC Action News. It really does make a huge difference, and we're happy to report tonight that since last January, our employees here at ABC Action News have donated more than $10,000 to buy children's books for underserved kids in our area. With the help from our parent company and the Scripps Howard Foundation, our television stations across the country have distributed more than 100,000 books through the Give a Child book campaign.